What's up everyone? Today we just got an unboxing video with some parts I ordered from Rock Auto for the truck. Nothing too wild, it's just a bunch of rear end parts, mainly brakes and things like that, for the Dakota so I can stick the limited slip rear end with the 10 inch brakes on the truck. And I figured everybody likes a good old unboxing video and this one will be pretty short and sweet as well. So go ahead and get it done. I know what's in the boxes, but I don't know what's in each box specifically. I've got this smaller one and then two more sitting off over here. One of them is really, really heavy, so I might not even be able to get it up on the table. And if I can't, or I might not even be able to fit it on the table or, you know, whatever to be able to actually do the video. So I might just open it and then show you guys what's in it. But I've got this small one here. I've got another medium sized one. So let's go ahead and get these open and see what is inside. So like I said, everything was from Rock Auto. I think everything all together, with shipping included, I paid 160 or 180. The thing with Rock Auto is that if you're ordering a bunch of parts, uh, they will ship parts from whatever their closest warehouse to you is with the part available. And stuff that's not as readily available, so you'll end up with a bunch of parts coming from different places, which is why I have three boxes. There's three different warehouses with my items, but way cheaper than buying it from AutoZone or O'Reilly or someplace like that. And I was able to pick way better quality parts. Everything is either AC Delco or uh, the other one was Ray Bestos. I think I've got like one Dorman part in here. I've got like Dorman lug studs or something because I need a couple lug studs. But, uh,. Let's see what is in here. Oh, this is a packing list, so this will actually tell me what's in it. So I guess I'll just set that aside somewhere for later. A bunch of packing paper, which I'll save to use later. And, alright, this one had just one item in it. It's a Raybestos box, so it's probably hardware. Oh, yeah, it's uh, lug studs. For the rear end, two have been removed from it. One, I had to torch off or had to have somebody torch off for me because there was a nut stuck on it we couldn't get off. And last resort, basically, was torching it off, and that's what we had to do. And then another one was already busted. So it needs two studs. Uh, could only buy them in a pack of five. So pack of five, there's five of them in here. They're just regular OEM studs, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. And I have a homemade installation tool for these, so I didn't have to buy that at least. But I think this is brake parts, but I mean, lug studs are kind of brake parts, I guess. That's all that's in there. Nothing wild, nothing too exciting, but studs are very important. It's one of the items we'll be putting on that rear end, and that's all that's in the box. So now to the medium one. This one, one of these boxes has brake shoes in it, I know that. And another one has drums. I'm guessing the really heavy one is the one with the drums. This table's not very sturdy, so the camera's going to shake around a little bit. And this open as well. The one box cost a lot to ship also. That was why shipping was so expensive. Because the one, with, I'm assuming the big one down there, it's really heavy, probably cost a lot to ship because of its weight and its size. Uh, this box cost like $9. The other one cost 5 or 7 or something. Ooh, they package everything pretty nicely at least. And as far as time to actually get here, I ordered all of this stuff on, uh, oh, I don't know, on last, it would have been on Tuesday, I think. Uh, so now today's Saturday, everything actually got here yesterday. One package came on Thursday, one came on Friday, so it only took a couple of days. Most of these parts were not readily available at the parts store anyway, so I wouldn't have had to wait that long regardless. So it's not like I had to wait longer than I would have. This is probably shoes brake shoes this is durastop on it oh yeah there we go 10 inch brake shoes since this rear end has the 10 inch brakes not the 9 inches that's currently on my truck and all the brakes in that rear end are destroyed by the way you guys will see those probably tomorrow or the day after but there's some shoes for the rear end Maybe at the end of the video, I'll give you guys just an up-close look at everything real quick. And what else is in there? There's quite a few more items in this one. Should be a hardware kit in here and a couple other things. This might be a cylinder for the drums. Yeah, hydraulic cylinder for the drums. Uh, the one bleeder 
on one is locked up and the other one, or one snapped off. I haven't tried to see if the other one's locked up, but I figured the rear end's old. Looks like it's got a lot of miles on it. wasn't treated very well, at least, or was it neglected at least to the point where the pads were down to the metal, uh, or the shoes, I should say. So, all new brake hardware all the way around, inside and out on it. So, there's one of them. There's two in here, of course. I'll just leave the other one in the box and not open it, because, you know, whatever. There's, I'm assuming this is the other one. Good old GM parts for my Chrysler product. Yeah, that's the other cylinder. More bubble stuff everywhere. There's another packing slip. Here, get out of here. Out of here. There's a. Oh, that's just a business card or a, or a magnet. Some magnet, I guess. Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know what I'm going to stick that out. I just stick it on the fridge in the house, I guess, since they sent me a magnet. And this, I'm almost certain, is a hardware kit. Yeah, this is just the standard uh, drum brake hardware kit, so it's got all the springs and pins and stuff. I'm not going to get that open because it looks like this box is already kind of having an issue. So, there's that. Let's close this thing up a little bit, maybe. It looks like it fell to the bottom of the box and got squished, but the bag didn't rip open and there's not pieces scattered all over inside of the box, so that's fine. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. And let's cut this big one open. And this box, like I said, being as heavy as it is, it hasn't like ripped open or fallen apart or anything. I always appreciate ordering stuff and everything coming intact. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see very much. I'm gonna Okay, just a little bit more of this stuff. Get out of here over there. You too. Oh, it doesn't stop, does it? There we go. Here's another slip and another magnet, I guess. That one's got an old Triumph on it. That's kind of cool. More interesting to look at than the uh, Ford Explorer that was on the other one. That's kind of cool. It's kind of neat to get little things like that anyway from whoever you're buying from. This is, let me get that out of the way, new uh, drum adjusters. They call them self adjusters, I think. That's what should be in here. Yeah, these are the little screwed thingies that you adjust your drums with. I don't know. It says they're self adjusters, but I don't think the drums on the truck automatically adjust. But I guess we'll just see, at least when they're new, I'll be able to just adjust them when I put them in and they'll be good for a while. And both of those are the drums by the looks of it. I'll pull one out, or maybe I'll pull both out so I don't have this massive box sitting around. Here's the one drum. Turn it this way so I can open it and show you guys. There it is. And this was another Ray Bestos part. Like I said, all Ray Bestos and AC Delco didn't want some cheap brand I've never heard of going on it. There we go. It's wrapped up in the plastic and everything, but brand new drum, 10 inch. It's uncoated, not like painted or anything. I probably won't paint it anyway, so I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Depends on how the weather's cooperating, because I don't want to paint stuff in the garage, because it'll get all over the floor and other stuff. But there we go. That's just a quick unboxing. There's just another drum in there. I'm going to go get everything out of these boxes and put it over there somewhere, get these boxes out of my way, and then just give you guys one last look at everything. And then that'll be pretty much it. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have at least a teardown video and an inspection video of the rear end because I still haven't cracked the diff open and looked at it and I don't want to put these parts on until I make sure the diff that's in it isn't destroyed. And yeah, let's uh, get all these things set up, give you guys a quick last look at everything, and then that'll pretty much be it. Alright, so here is everything. Two little magnets they gave me. These are kind of neat, especially the one with the Triumph on it. I think it's pretty cool but 
drums in here. I'm not going to open anything back up because I don't want to lose parts. But two drums, pads in the big box, brand new cylinders, uh, brand new lug studs, the drum adjusters, and the full hardware kit. So pretty much everything to refresh the rear end except for diff uh, cover gasket and a diff plug which I was going to buy from them but totally forgot about it when I ordered parts and then differential fluid of course brake lines and fittings because I'm replacing the ones that are on it right now and that's it everything else is there oh and the two like the spring clips that hold the uh, yoke into the rear end on the truck because uh, they tend to snap off when you try to remove them because both of them on the junkyard truck snap so I'm going to get new ones of those but that's all cheap stuff stuff that's pretty readily available and I don't know if I'm going to, well, I'm not going to do the brake lines until the rear ends in the truck so that we don't damage brand new lines while we're installing it. And I'm not going to put fluid in the diff until it's in the truck as well, just to make the rear end as light as possible while we're putting it up. And I think, and then of course, fittings and stuff for the brake lines, I need those. I have a flaring tool and everything, so this will be a good first shot at making brake lines. And all that stuff can wait till when, you know, the time comes. This is all the stuff I really need to make sure I have when I get all buttoned up before I go and put the rear end in. Of course, I'm going to pull the diff open, inspect it, drain all the old fluid out, put fresh fluid in it. And it'll be basically a brand new rear end in the back of the truck, all new brakes. I'll finally be able to bleed my brakes and flush them fully. And, yeah, so I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I know this wasn't super exciting, but it is a look into at least what is coming up pretty soon. And please hit that like button and subscribe. Please help me reach a thousand subscribers before February 20th. And I'll see you guys later.